go up to uh, the Northeast here and let's talk about the New England Patriots. 12-4 and four last year. And, and my God, if you would listen to people talking about it, you would have thought they went 6-10. and 10. Holy but, crap, I know. The ceiling fell in. Yeah, I know, right? It's like, oh, my God, they only won 12 games out of 16. Win, winning 12 games is a bad <sighs> season. That's their, uh, their win total right now is set at 9, and it is plus 105 to go over and minus 125 to go under. To win the division, they are plus 140. Coach Bill Belichick enters his 21st season as the head coach. I mean, there are kids that are graduating college that – have been uh, they were born the year that Belichick started in New England. That's before yes. like all the it, it just ridiculous, right? So this year is going to be the Cam Newton show. I don't know why people were very uh, surprised that he was announced the starter. Uh, I think as soon as he was signed, everybody kind of figured that. So long as he was healthy, he was going to be their best option. But uh, but the question is, can he stay healthy? My other question is, man, they got like eighty seven running backs on this roster. And I, We've said this every year, and I know. it frustrates the hell out of me. They <laughs> they draft they draft some offensive lineman at a position, and then try to make him play a position he doesn't play all the time, and it drives me insane. But the offensive line is always pretty good, and and then they and they always just keep drafting more running backs, and they don't get any wide receivers ever. Well, they I mean, they, just, so so they've got they've got. Uh, uh, J- what, Harry, they, 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 no, no, they no. They've, they've got James a, White. I'm talking okay. about the running backs. You're they've got Damian backs. Harris, who everybody talked really nice about in the, in the preseason, yep. uh, in camp and whatnot. They've got Sony Michelle, who took a, a lot of carries last year. They've got Rex Burkhead. They've got – and now they they went and signed Lamar Miller. Like, yeah, but they got him for nothing. They I, signed Lamar agreed. Miller because he's cheap. But, I mean <laughs> – <laughs> Just because he's cheap, that's, I don't, that's like my wife telling right. me that a hang sale on, listen, means she but, saved money. I know. <laughs> I, I hang on. I agree with you. By the way, here's the insane that they tried to go get Leonard Fournette. They were I like, know. "Hey, Leonard's available. Let's go get another one of these bastards." I don't. I don't understand it. Listen, I'm never going to question Bill, but I don't always understand Bill. I don't know that when you have a 53 man roster. That is a very hard roster to fill, okay? You cut down things so difficult. He has like six running backs all the time. Everybody else is carrying maybe four, and and then they just have a couple of receivers that can take the rock if they had to. And usually he has a lot of guys that are like very versatile. Okay, like James White, we we basically move out into the slot. Like he plays, we run two slot receivers constantly. It's just bounce James White out into the slot, and nobody behind backup. None of these other guys can do any of that. I yeah, don't know. I, Rex I Burkhead don't get is pretty good at catching the football. Nobody else in this backfield has shown that they are good at catching the football. Yeah, it, it's insane. Tony Michelle in the Super Bowl against the Rams over under for. Catches in a game was one and a half. I took the over thinking he's going to get at least two because they can't just run it every time he's in and throw it every time James is in or else the defense knows what they're doing. No, no. He had one ball thrown to him. He dropped it. Tom did throw it to him the game. I don't know what the hell to do. Yeah, I, I know. I know. I, I don't understand it. Uh, jumping into the chat here. Uh, Matt Miller said the Pats are no better than eight and eight. Chris, don't be drinking that Boston Kool Aid. They are so insane. And then, well, he said it, he put an asterisk and then put nine and seven. Uh, oh, Carlos insane. Gomez said, uh, and no, Muhammad uh, uh, Sanu either. Muhammad um, Sanu was trash last year. Yeah. Muhammad Sanu was just trash like, all last year. He most certainly was. Uh, Bill Belichick, Bill treats- Dorsett was the best wide receiver on that team last year. Yeah, from the from the time the season started to the time the year ended, Julian missed too much time. And, and, and took some time to get ready, whatever. Sanu was just garbage. Nikhil Harry wasn't close to ready, and Tom just doesn't like rookies. It, it, Philip Dorsett, and he's not on the team anymore. Yep, correct. Matt Miller said, Bill Belichick treats running backs like some people treat Hondas. Just get three or four accords with 200,000 miles and run them till they die. Damn straight. That Hang on. That it might be the best. The best scenario ever of him. The fact that he used a first-round pick on Sony was insane to me because you just don't pay a lot for Hondas. Like, why yeah. go get a new one? Just just buy six used ones, keep them across the garage, the the the, the, the driveway, and and you'll never have a car. You know, be without a car. Yeah, because they'll run forever. They'll like, just go forever. Yeah, they'll just keep going. 
Um, so, so hey, defensive issue, defense. by the way. Go yeah, ahead. defense. Uh, the biggest issue last year really was the secondary, not a massive issue. No, nah, um, be fine. But they, they signed Aiden Phillips, or Adrian Phillips, and they signed uh, Cody Davis. Now, the biggest problem they got right now is all the opt-outs, right? Like, that's that's kind of a problem. And and then so, they lose Kyle Van Oy, and that's, you know, eh. So, I'm going to address the opt-outs. I've listened to enough New England beat writer talk lately now i would tell you this so for all the fans out there that that hate the patriots and all this stuff that's fine y'all can all suck it but that's fine i i understand it by the way i do understand it i it doesn't help you but i understand it here's the deal the beat writers in boston 100 do not suck up to the team the way other states do the way oh, no. other teams do no 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 they go in there and they are looking for problems constantly it's just the boston way of doing things they're always negative and I'm going to tell you, these guys say Bill is not worried about the opt-outs, and they think Bill and Kurt, because if you look at all the opt-outs, they're all the older veteran guys. Oh, yeah. And Bill thinks these younger guys are better, and he'd rather not have to pay those veterans. Damien jumps in on YouTube. He said, Cam Newton isn't a starting quarterback, in my opinion. He's not even a good quarterback. All he can do good is wear Victoria's Secret or be a Victoria's Secret model. Damien, if Cam Newton had gone to the Bears, you would be jumping out of your skin right now, okay? <laughs> we would be building a shrine to Ryan Pace right now if he had gone and gotten Cam Newton for $1 million. Yep, yep, you are okay? correct. So I do not want to hear somebody whose quarterbacks are the combined of Nick Foles and Mitch Trubisky talking yang about my boy Cam, all right? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to stop that right now. Listen, Cam is a dark horse MVP candidate this year. If you don't have a little bit of money sprinkled on Cam, you're just a fool. Because if you think it cannot happen because of your hate for the Patriots or your dislike for Cam, you're an idiot. Now, it might not happen. But if he's healthy for 16 games and the wizard of Josh McDaniels gets to pull the strings and call plays he has never gotten to call before, ever, then, then I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there's going to be a really good shot that people would rather give it to Cam than give it to a uh, Drew Brees or a or a Deshaun Watson or a Mahomes back to back or a or a Lamar back to back. They would rather because we love a comeback story. We love a redemption story. It just sucks that it happens for the Patriots because all of you throwing dirt on them, this team is going to win 12 football games, 11 football games again. Oof. They're going to be double digits again. I, and no, I'm, I'm okay with the double digits. You can do about it. I've, I've got them 10 and 6. Uh, Matt said Cam won't be the reason, though. Uh, Matt Miller said I, yes, I think I think they'll go 9 and 7 because of the defense and lack of weapons. Cam isn't Tom Brady. Damian jumped in and said, hell no. Um, it, which it, you say that, but. You, you know say that. Excited. You say that. If um, he was wearing that navy blue and orange, you you would be saying, "Hell yeah!" I mean, New England. Look, they they get Miami at home to start, but then obviously your road games at Seattle, at Kansas City, at Buffalo, at the Jets, at Houston, at the Chargers, at the Rams, at Miami, and you have Baltimore at home. You've got Arizona. You got the 49ers at home. You got the Raiders. You got the Broncos. I mean, they they got some they got some difficult I games. I got them eleven and five. I got, I got them, them eleven and, and five. And I think this team's going to be way better. The weapons didn't get better, but Cam doesn't throw to receivers the way Tom does. Cam yeah. uses his legs nonstop. All right. Yeah, I I think look, I look at it this way. I'm not worried about Cam. I'm not worried. You could give me a team of no names, and if Bill Belichick is coaching that team, until I see going him lose, names. yeah, like they are going to have a winning record. Period. Yeah. Remember, until he, I see him he lose, took he took Matt Castle who was literally just the dead-ass body of Matt Castle and won 10 games in the NFL. I think I think they were 11 wins that year. Well, yeah, they probably 11, did they were 11 and 5. They got to double digits. But, yes, mm. I'm telling you, this team is going to – and if – show throw dirt on them. Go bet the Bills. Oh, my God, you know what Bill Belichick is doing right now. Everybody thinks that pretty boy is gone and we can't play football anymore, guys. Oh, yeah. Nobody thinks we get it. Those boys from Buffalo, the first time they play Buffalo, Buffalo's a really good football team. I think they'll split with Buffalo. The first game against Buffalo, don't care if it's in New England, don't care if it's in Buffalo, they are going to beat the hell out of Buffalo. Uh, game is, one against Buffalo this year, they're beating the hell out of Buffalo. It is at Buffalo. It's the week after they play the 49ers, and it's That's in week gonna eight. get ugly. Yeah. It's going to be right. ugly. Uh, I'm, just I'm just telling you now, remember you here to hear first. 
Damian jumped in and said, I would rather have a real quarterback like Bridgewater or Kaepernick than a diva. Okay. You would rather have a guy that... It, 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 we're not going to get into that. Matt Miller we're said, not getting into that. Matt Miller said, the Bears have never had a 4,000-yard passer. They would take what's left of Peyton Manning right now. They would definitely take Cam. Yeah, I think so. They would definitely take Cam. <laughs> I think so. All and, right, and if they took Cam, I would make them the favorites to win that division immediately. Immediately. I think so, because they got I weapons. I think that would be a 12-win team. I think that defense would be better. I think all, Allen Robinson would be spooging in his pants right now if he saw Cam Newton walk through that door. That a vengeful Cam Newton is yes, dangerous. with with just, just a line. just a just two big hefty bags of chips on his shoulders. Oh yes, oh yes. 